now joined by UFC Bantamweight Halit Taha. Our first question goes to Gabriel Gonzalez with Kate Cypress. Hey, Khalid. Uh, obviously, returning from a suspension, you had a year away. Just what did you take away from the whole experience? Um, yeah, it was a tough year. I think it was a tough year for everyone, especially with the virus and all this uh, crazy quarantine stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to be back and happy to be back and can't wait to be back. How did you change up your training, if at all, when they gave you a new opponent? I didn't change it a lot because um, they are quite the same. Um, they are both like black belts, like likes to go to the ground, likes to take take his opponents down, take the center of the of the cage. So there was no, no not not quite a lot, and, and and especially I'm never preparing that. Um, Quickly to to an appointment uh, to an op uh, opponent. I, I I just do like whatever I do, almost like spiking wrestling jiu jitsu. I do everything to be as good as possible in every every possible. We found out about the change up just last week. How long have you known that Howney is going to be your opponent? The same. <laughs> It came like we have the time difference between me and my manager. He's here in Vegas and I was in Germany. Uh, it was like, I don't know, through the night or in the evening. And I just got the message and I was like, yeah, <laughs> let's go. Gotcha. Finally, just what do you most want to show for yourself in the fight? I just want to go all in. I, I, I want to I wanna show myself that um, and I want to show everybody, every, everybody else that I deserve to be a to in the top 15 or in the top 10. And uh, I, I just want to give everything, like always. I never hold back, and um, that's the success. That's the key for the success uh, in this fight and, and in the fights before. Thank you, Halid. Good luck. Thank you. That's all we have for you today, Halid. Thank you. Thank you.